Hey, you beautiful bunch. Um, yeah, so, guys, this is my first week into Kikai Island, and, um, yeah, it's, it's really great experience. I mean, besides having no internet, um, it's a really good experience, and, um, yeah, I, well, let me see what I should talk about. Yeah, so, my two luggage, uh, <laughs> in case... Uh, some of you are wondering, my luggages uh, were sent from, so basically we, when we were quarantined in the Narita Hotel, uh, we could choose to either just bring our luggages to the, to the place, to, to, to our placements, which is minus Kikai Island, or you could uh, deliver them, just send them with courier. And my two luggages um, apparently took five days other people could get it in a day right but mine took five days to get to this island because it's it's uh basically a, a hassle to um to to bring it here so yeah i have to like they have to send it to kagoshima city and then from kagoshima city they send it to amami oshima a slightly bigger island than my one and then from that slightly bigger island they have to send it to my island so uh yeah, and I finally got my souvenirs, and I was able to give my souvenirs to my colleagues. Um, yeah, so I, I bought these uh, little kiwi dolls for uh, the kids of my colleagues, right? Although, surprisingly, it was quite popular with the colleagues themselves, so uh, I gave a lot more than I thought I would. And, um, oh, there you go. This, this chocolate, yeah, um, passion fruit flavor, because, uh, apparently this village, um, <clears throat> town is known for, uh, growing tropical fruits like, uh, passion fruits, right? So, yeah, I, I, I've yet to give, give these, uh, nice, uh, kiwi, golden kiwi, snow, snow globes yeah so um yeah, yeah so that's that's all the souvenirs and um yeah so a week of living in kikai island has made me more disciplined <laughs> i mean you can look at it in a bad way and a good way so the bad things is that i'm constantly dealing with insects even when it's like winter you know Imagine, if I'm dealing with bugs in the winter, God knows what's going to happen during summer. So I I dread to imagine um, summertime bugs. I mean, I, I just had to like pick up a millipede today, right? On a floor, like on, on this floor. And I had to just pick it up and throw it out the window. Like, I, I think I squashed enough ants to feel like redundant killing them like i'm now now at this point i'm just picking them up and just chucking them out like they just don't don't get it they just don't don't get it <laughs> so i'm I, i'm already beyond the point of squashing them i'm already just picking them up and I, i'm not even squeamish of bugs anymore well i sh i say that but i don't know if, if they crawl up on me when i sleep okay that is a different diff different story but um yeah so uh well yes the discipline part <laughs> yes that's the bad side but the good side is that forces me to clean my flaws and wipe everything at least once almost every day or every second day yeah it's kind of like a life lesson you know i'm trying to spin it in a good way i mean what else can i do other than to like complain yeah 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 so i uh, bought stuff that, uh, actually some stuff were left by my predecessor, but yeah, these are such awesome stuff I never had in New Zealand, so uh, maybe I just missed it, but like, this, this mop is a lifesaver, I mean, I mean, okay, the design of it looks very simple, right, but uh, like, literally all I need to do is 
grab one of these wipes which are not that expensive it's like you get a lot of them for like 200 yen or something literally all you do is grab this thing and then you have this thing right put the thing like that and then you see these funny uh, things you just squish it in there and then voila you got cleaning mop and I'm actually just gonna go wipe it the floors while I'm at it actually it definitely makes cleaning a lot easier like a lot easier but um and I would go crazy if uh, <laughs> I, I didn't have this thing because this, this thing makes cleaning so much easier um there is this thing uh, probably it's common in New Zealand but I don't know I missed it so my predecessor left a version without the sticks sticking out right this is how it looks like without without the sticks sticking out and it's yeah you literally insert it there you you uh like a sticky tape thing and then uh it just sticks really well and then you have three sticks poking out i use the pink one for washing you know drying my hand this is my tea cloth and then this is my cleaning everything dust cloth I'm really lucky that my predecessor left me this rubbish bin. I mean, it looks it looks pretty normal, right? But um, it it's it's very good that I have a rubbish bin that's a fair a big size, twenty two liters, and it seals the smell in there so the bugs don't get to my food. You know, you know, like so. Uh, contrary to New Zealand. Japan has a schedule for when you are allowed to throw burnable rubbish and non-burnables. I mean, if, if you studied in Hirosaki, you would know this, right? But, um, so, uh, if you can see what I'm seeing, uh, blue means pet bottles, red means non-burnables, and uh, yellow is burnable, and green is just bean, bean. I don't know, maybe glass bottles, I don't know. But uh, also, different different prefectures have different rubbish rules, so it's a bit different from Hirosaki. And I got lots and lots of sticky notes. Yeah, lots and lots of sticky notes. So I am able to keep track of all my stuff. Uh, he left me a map. Yeah, kind of useless, actually. But um, yeah, yeah, the... The tiger rice cooker, like, wow. Tiger, okay, in case you guys don't know much about rice cooking, um, the tiger rice cooker is like this premium brand in Japan. Uh, yeah, every mother and their kids would know what a tiger brand uh, rice cooker. It's it's a high-tech rice cooker. I, I, I know I'm geeking over a rice cooker, but it's it's good. It, it keeps the moisture of the rice in the the rice cooker for like a good half day uh, any longer than that i'd be worried about bacteria growing in it but uh it's it's high tech okay it's it, all you need to know is it's very high tech and even though it's a small one it's still good uh i mean i'm i'm just just me i'm feeding myself so i don't i don't really give uh don't really give too much uh thought into that yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to keep my mouth clean more clean um yeah so how i i um sort myself out with cleaning is i literally put sticky notes on places where i still have yet to clean i still have yet to clean all the debris there's a lot of still a lot of bug car like bug dead bodies in my bathtub i've been mostly wearing crocs yeah, I put stuff that I need to clean later on, but I've been mostly wearing my Crocs and taking shower in there. Um, yeah, I'm not taking a bath until I got rid of all those bug dead bodies. Uh, besides that, my predecessor left me a air mattress. This like I've never had an air mattress. It's it's pretty high tech. I don't know. It's like I basically put this into the socket and it vacuums itself up i guess I, I don't know how to explain better but having an air mattress is nice because 
it's an air mattress, so there's low maintenance, like, I don't have to clean it at all, I guess. I don't have to worry about it getting dirty. I don't have to worry about bugs entering it and destroying it. Yeah, everything is bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. Um, my predecessor left me this nice pull-up bar, which is my clothes hanger for now. But I swear I will, I will get rid of all these clothes and use this pull-up bar for what it is. For now, it's just going to have to be a pull-up bar. Yeah, I mean, a clothes hanger. My predecessor left me a nice American football. I don't even play American football, but um, I don't know. I, I might try playing, you know, throwing and catching, but yeah. So I keep complaining about how I'm like, oh man, like I got to fight bugs. Like, oh, boohoo, I need to cry about it, right? Um, but um, I have a friend who, another fellow Kiwi jet, right, who lives in... Uh, Gunma Prefecture, right? <laughs> and, uh, in case you guys don't know what's going on there, it's snowing. Uh, Gunma is a cold place. It's snowing. It's it's north of Tokyo, I think. He got a nice house to himself, a whole house. Uh, but he faces electricity problems, right? So what happens is... Um, he can only use a certain amount of amps. He actually has to calculate how much amp he's using at a time because uh, I'll give you an example he uses his electric heat pump and then when he wanted to microwave simply microwave something right his whole house blacked out and he was like shocked like panicked right and it was like calling his uh, supervisor for help and then they told him yeah this is an old house so uh, avoid using too many electrical appliances at the same time. But the thing is, his stove is electric, his uh, heat pump is electric, his everything is electric. So uh, even the lights is electric. It's just, he can only use so much <laughs> electricity at a time. And it's like, otherwise you'll just black out again. And he's freezing his ass off there because like, he's trying to limit how much electricity you use for these heat pumps and, and also is worried about just using too much electricity to black out again and uh, it's like telling me he's crying <laughs> he's crying every day in his sleep I mean uh, but yeah he did update me that uh, just yesterday that they actually managed to up the amps so livable standards livable standards I, I think they felt <laughs> they felt bad for him, like, oh my god, I mean, I don't know, tell me, I might be a terrible person, but after hearing his, his struggles, I feel much better about my little bug problems, I mean, jeez, I wouldn't be able to survive, like, I'm, I'm struggling enough without Wi-Fi, but oh my god, I wouldn't be able to survive if I can't, I have, I have to limit the use of my electricity, that is just, that is just sad. <laughs> just sad but um i'm glad he he managed to fix that problem after complaining to his uh, supervisor complain to your supervisor jets complain to your supervisor don't hold it in okay this is your life and it is their job to help you so uh if you've got a big problem cry <laughs> cry for help all right don't ha don't even you know hesitate yeah, so I actually went to the uh, schools, right? And basically uh, met all the kids and stuff. And they were very excited to see me, right? But I have big shoes to fill because apparently my predecessor was very popular with the, the kids. And uh, every time I uh, talk to the kids, uh, all of the kids talk to me, right? They're like, hmm. Where where is uh where is uh pre predecessor teacher predecessor teacher right so I'm like oh no I I have big shoes to fill because he was very popular with the kids and uh, I mean they appreciate me coming but then they're, they're always like what happened to the old teacher I liked him so I'm like ah, 
I am going to have to live up to his name, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so the Yoda family, actually, the Yoda mom and dad actually finally visited me. And interesting thing, I, I didn't know. Um, that family, the Yoda family, has always taken care of every ALT assistant language teacher from the JET program that has landed on this uh, island. And I am the sixth uh, ALT they uh, met. So the sixth generation ALT. Uh, I don't know, I just like to say. I, I can tell six uh, predecessors came, I mean, five predecessors came before me because every predecessor leaves something nice. Uh, and every predecessor never took anything back to their home. Probably because it's too much trouble with the logistics too, but um, it's nice. It's really nice. I mean, they said it was furnished, but this is more than just furnished. It's actually um, really well, um, really well furnished. Uh, I mean, really good stuff left behind. Uh, I, I wish I had like searched the house before I went shopping because when I went to shop for home stuff, I realized, ah, it shoots. Um, they actually left the stuff that I bought, so I bought an extra version of that, which is uh, kind of a waste, but oh well, it is what it is, right? My favorite phrase in Japan. Shikata ga nai, shou ga nai. It is what it is, you know. But uh, yeah, that's about it. This is the longest video I've made, but uh, that should cover for all the days I missed, right?